Hey guys, so I bought two boxes of Legendary Duelist Soul Burning Volcano for about 40 a piece. It was about 83 and some change after shipping, and yeah, let's see what we got out of it. That being said, let's get started. So all I'm really looking for is a Battling Boxer King Dempsey for my Vanquishful deck. I want to try the Parallax Sea tech. Um, maybe it's a reason to run two Panteras in, or something. And wow, actually look at that. So the very first pack, we have a Burst Griffin. Yeah, I saw my great Burst Griffin. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. If that's not a Telltale, that uh, we're going to get a Ghost Rider in this. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I'm looking for maybe some of the Volcanic stuff. Maybe some uh, Meme Burn deck. Uh, the Salaman great stuff does look uh, pretty cool too, but they're not exactly for me. I didn't play in Salad format, and I was taking a break at the time. But yeah, um, I know uh, some of the Salaman great cards, the Ultras, are worth something. So maybe we'll just be excited to get those just for the value return. Also, I'm recording this right before a Hurricane's going to hit us. Uh, we're like in the tail end. It's like not going to be too bad, I suppose, but there could be some Power Riders. Just, just remind everyone, stay safe out there, okay? All right, so we're a couple packs in now. We have our Ultra Burst Graven to show for it and a Volcanic uh, Eruption Super. What do we get? We get a Battling Boxer Rare. Look at that, the trifecta. Uh, speaking of Battling Boxer though, I do want the King Dempsey for our big crystal deck. Uh, Mix it just a little bit easier to search for a Rosin. It's just another tech we use in our extra deck considering we don't use it too much. We have our Zeus line, some Nightmares, and a couple other pop techs to use if we need it for certain situations. But now it's just another Rota. Not terrible, but if I play with the Parallel Exceed, it makes us more susceptible to Nibiru, which is uh, one problem. But technically, we already fall under that if we play with the Tiras. And look at this, we have a Volcanic Trooper. It's beautiful. Uh, volcanic Line. I know there's some, some FTK, uh, FTK deck lists out there already. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the new boss monster, the Volcanic Emperor, hopefully you get one. It's uh, pretty strong, to be honest. It has this masquerade effect where every time you special summon, they burn for 500. And in a format like no other where we special summon out the wazoo, could be pretty scary. Uh, I, I know that from first-hand experience, considering I play Black Wings, and having triple Assault Dragon every time you use the monster effect, you burn for 7, 14, 21. It, gets, it, it adds up really fast. And considering the Emperor has a... Uh, on summon effect to, to burn for a minimum of what was it 15 500 for every banish and he takes three banishes to to summon oh look at this Ooh, we got a dempsey actually that's perfect i got everything from from this box already everything i wanted from this box just the ghost rare uh but the volcanic one, it opens up with a 15 burn and every time they summon they burn but i saw it in decklist they don't even make it to their special summon effect or special summon burn. You kill them in the draw phase by using something like a spiritual spiritual art fire to burn them for three thousand after burning them for for five k uh, prior. It's kind of kind of troll, pretty funny. It's not something I would use in our locals or whatnot. Don't want to be that kind of an asshole, but it's always good to like have to troll with friends considering you get the entire thing almost done with uh everything from from these boxes, all the commons and whatnot. You just need um, that one ultra from the structure deck. What's it called? Like awakening, awakening the the possessed or something like that. The fire spirit um, card. Uh, the ultra from the structure deck. But it is a 2.5 card starter, which is not the most consistent. You need to open up trooper and uh, fire starter. I think the card is called. Um, and another volcanic card to, to dump off of the trooper effect. So it's not the most consistent, but the good thing is that the deck also just plays like a regular deck while having the option to, to FTK OTK, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, even if you bring it to locals and you're kind of that guy, if you don't open it, you still just play the game. So one guy might just, oh, it's actually just fire ejection. Look at that, it's right here. Uh, one guy, he gets the short end of the stick and he gets FTK, and then the other guy, you just play the game. It's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, I might build that considering everything you need, almost everything, is it's, it's all in the, in the comments over here. And next up we have um, Salmangrate, because I don't know anything about Battling Boss and have like zero desire to make them, but Salmangrate, 
I know it used to be a very top tier deck as part of Toss format. I didn't play during that time. I took a step back from Yu-Gi-Oh! after Pendulums came out. I didn't like the fact that they made two new zones just for a new summoning mechanic and all that yada yada. Uh, I came back as Power of the Elements came out. Great time to come back, right? It's your zero format. Um, but yeah, the new Salman Greats, they have a, a new boss monster that is like a search. It revives itself and and there he is, speak of the devil. Um, all right, if you use himself, you get a free search. There it is. Uh, if a fire monster you control is destroyed by a battle card effect and he revives and gains attack. And that's about it. So I don't know how good that is. I know Thalman Grey was a top tier deck. There's a format uh, named around it or part of it. So yeah, I, I probably get, have to ask around, but if I want a really sticky deck or like a deck that's like really resilient resilient to destruction effects uh i could just pick up the uh unchained stuff right now right i think that's a actually this is a really strong deck for the time being uh, but that being said i don't really know the strength of salaman great so i'm just speaking on, on the, the experience bias that i've only seen in unchained um but yeah uh on that note unchained has been a, a thorn in my side for the past few weeks i primarily play decks that have a lot of Destruction interruptions. Um, I mainly play black wings, so you know on their turn, like some uh, some moon. I have a uh, one veiler, a uh, graveyard effect to pop one on the field, etc. Um, black wing dragon self blows up the field, so it's all destruction. I don't really have any bounces or or banishes in that. Uh, other than that, it's banker soul on their turn. It's pop pro, non-targeting pop one. All of it kind of just triggers the uh unchained stuff so i'm at i kind of at a loss on what to do considering uh, my options um another deck that i thought would solve this for me was going to be exorcister i haven't tried that yet so that's probably next on the list um yeah they have their uh, their own little abyss polar effect when they set a card you could probably just um mccallus non-target banish one they try to activate another effect you have switch over to oh no no the first one was magnifica and then the second one's going to be mccallus after that you have two more vanishes on returnia all of this is not going to trigger the uh, chain stuff so it probably be a really rough time for them especially since they also have the, the pistol effect so they can't even uh, you may not even need to target the graveyard for for the banishing effects um, so yeah, that where I play cards like D Fissure and uh, Goes and Match, or at least for for ancestors, the uh, Goes and Match can be and stuff like Banker Soul. Um, but I'm not really a fan of Floodgates. I'm more of a oh, we have another Ultra over here, Salman Great, Salman Great of Fire. I think this one's actually the expensive one, uh, if I recall correctly. Uh, but I'll check on that later. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of Floodgates. I don't really like playing Skill Drain, Fissure, Vectors, Cosmos, etc., etc. Uh, I understand it's not really exactly too fun for for other players. Um, you gotta do what you gotta do to win, but I, I wanna have fun while doing that. That's why I also for Black Wings, I don't really wanna play the King Kali the line anymore, or the Hot Red King Calamity line anymore. It's just not as fun, even though, yeah, I, I got more wins doing that, you, you, and um, you do have options to interact. I just... I didn't feel great about winning like that on, on a locals because um who, who enjoys solo comboing for like three minutes just for them to say all right game two and there's like no point of play after if they just didn't open up their hand traps uh, it's not really for me if, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it that's cool yeah, yeah on personal level i didn't really like it and we have another ultra over here we have a balance boxer promoter it's pretty cool cool hair on on that robot uh -huh. uh, but yeah that's why i like the mostly just the synchro line for for black Wings, like the triple assault dragon builds um it has some grind game or not it's more interactive yeah but i i have like one or two negates like a lot of pop interactions it's like setting myself up for failure in that regard but i think it's just more fun to play the game rather than build your board can they break it no move on uh it's also another reason why i really like Vinker Soul. it's like a really interactive deck it's like a lot more fair uh but that's also like the reason why people don't 
respect it as much as they uh, I do because it's just too fair of a deck. And if I'm trying to play black wings like that, although it's a, it's a combo, combo deck, the, the end result's not as strong as it could be. Oh, we actually have another... Oh, we have another summon group fire. If this is the expensive card, that'd be really good for me. <laughs> uh, that being said, though, I guess this is uh, kind of ironic coming from me, considering I was saying I wasn't uh, interested in building the Volcanic deck. It's uh, a FTK deck with like a little bit of continuation. But I guess this is also a good time to ask, do you guys actually care about that, that stuff that much? Do you care about the floodgates? Do you care about the, how games are being played to, to build a board and then just try to deconstruct it if you can? If not, just move on to the next game. Um, that was a, another major point where I didn't really enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh for like a couple years, but decided to come back with a new platform support coming out soon. But yeah, let me know how you feel. Um, yeah. Alright, enough rambling around. Back to the box opening instead. Or oh, we're like uh, just over halfway done. We have like two Salamon Grave Fires, the Salamon Grave Link, Battling Boxers, um, and one Volcanic Trooper. Let's see what else we get over here. Uh, if anyone else also noticed for these uh, Legendary Duelist packs, your rare is also in the middle. However, if you do have a foil, the rare gets shifted up one. So that's why I've been uh, pulling from the back over here. If you see. If you see. Um, Two commons in the back, that makes sense. Yeah, if you're in the front, that makes sense. The second card would be either a common or a rare because of the movement shift. And just to speed it up, instead of doing the card trick, I just pull from the back and check out the third card. Like the seventh force seventh force over here. Um, it was in the middle slot. And what do we get next over here? We got our Salmon Great Roar at the front, and we have an Ultra over here. Battling Boxer Uppercut. That's a new one. It's pretty cool. Oh, I actually didn't go through the pack. All right, let's see if on this one though. So from the back, we have two, and then the middle one is revealed to either be a foil or the rare. You see the rare, and, and yeah, you didn't get your uh, your foil. All right, we're coming down like um, 12, 13, 14, 15 packs left. Whoa, this is a exceed heavy pack over here. Four different exceeds and then one spell. Alright, and what do you get from this pack? Uh, another battle box for rare, nothing too special. Uh, these boxes also come with 36 packs, if you guys didn't know, instead of a regular 24. So saying 15 left, or however much we have left, it's like under half a box left. And we have another ultra over here, another burst griffin, not bad. But this entire time, we have not seen a Ghost Sunlight Wolf yet. Uh, I don't know why I always want to say Sun Vine Wolf. Um, it's not it's not something I have long card, so. Alright, an Al Mirage. So we're down to like roughly 10 packs left. We have another. Oh, Bay Lynx. Okay. I thought it was going to be another of uh, the Salaman Great uh, Link 4, the new one. Right, we have another one, two, and in the middle, a number C nine, uh, 79, Battling Boxer one. And we have a rare Salmon Great Charge, okay. It's also really new to me. I don't even really know how people talk over uh, the entire pack opening like this. That's kind of some. That's some kind of special, to be honest. I ran out of things to say like within the first probably five minutes, I think, and then I just started rambling on some about some nonsense. All right, a volcanic rocket. Nothing over here. Nothing but another uh, component to the FTK. Ooh, we have another ultra over here. We have another battling box or uppercut. Okay, pretty cool. I gotta check out how much the, <laughs> that's worth later. All right, and we have a uh, volcanic rimfire. And another bay Lynx. 
All right. Uh, after this one, I think we're down to like four left or five left. So this one we can. Oh, we have another. Oh, we have another Dempsey. We pulled two Dempsey, two Dempsey in two boxes. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you run two in Vinker Soul. Maybe you do. If you play uh, Pot of Extravagance, maybe you run three. But I don't think people should be playing Pot of Ex Extravagance. All right, we have a couple left. Everyone plays a uh, Pot of Desires now, I guess. A fire ejection. And let's see, these last few packs we're running low. We still haven't gotten our ghost rare yet. Bowing boxer rare. Actually, I don't even know how many uh, ultras come in each box. Another volcanic rocket. Um, we're, we're like just about a dozen now, I think, right? So maybe six per box. Proxman. And Salamangrate Charge. Alright, so these last four packs over here. Salamangrate Foxy and a nothing. Alright, so for like the last three packs, I think I'll do the card, card trick to see if it even works. Maybe I've been wrong about this entire time. I sound like a fool. Alright, to the front. Battling Boxer Cheat Commission, a Volcanic Queen, Last Counter, Counter Trap, and that number 79 Battling Boxer, and we have a foil, a Battling Boxer Cross Counter. Oh, do Battling Boxers have a lot of counter traps actually? Oh, that makes sense. Boxing counters. Alright, last two packs. One of them has to have our Ghost Rider in here. Battling Boxer Headgear, Jolt Counter. It's another counter trap, yeah, I guess so. Salmon Great Sanctuary and Battling Boxer Big Bandage, Battling Boxer Boxer Shadow, and oh, I guess that was the card. Yeah, the rare was in the back of this side. And last card, just a little flick for the last card, uh, last pack magic. And uh, oh, almost forgot to the front, to the front. Okay, a, a little smudge on the back. Volcanic Hammer, 105 Battling Boxer, Battling Boxer Switcher, Salmon Great Revive, and Volcanic Inferno. So yeah, the uh, fall was in the back. All right, and I'm just gonna speed up this process. I'm just gonna organize it to show you guys. Uh, for anyone who actually just skips to the back up here, I'll have it organized <laughs> for, for them. Um, two of everything over here. We got Battling Boxer Promoter, we got two Burst Griffins, two Dempsey, two Uppercut, the Salamangre Link, two Fire, and one Volcanic Trooper. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.